To make a new brush, we have this picture. I'm going to take the magic wand tool. I'm setting the tolerance in the other settings. I'm going to click once and then hold shift down and click the other portions that are missing. And now I need to take an inverse because what I want is actually the dark part. And the next thing is I'm going to refine the edge. And you see it's got this white section. So I can do a smart radius. And that's going to really help me um, do a lot with the edges that would otherwise be very difficult to do without a smart radius. And I'm also able to shift the edge to include more or to include less. I am also going to smooth it a little bit. I'm not going to really mess with the feather uh, or the, the content. Uh, or excuse me, the contrast, but I want to try to also decontaminate the colors a little bit and um, make a new layer mask, new layer with a layer mask, and it'll save out into a new one. And then you see what I've got, and then I can rename this, and next I have to load the selection that, that I just made with that mask. It's not selected right now, but I have to load it. And there's the selection that I'm going to choose and it's well, you see the marching ant so now I am going to go to define brush presets and if I do that then I get to make my own brush all right now if I load the uh, brushes panel I can also load the brush preset panel um, and I could have also done that by clicking the preset button that's inside of the brush panel but here's my new brush and it, you can tell that it's huge it's got a really high resolution so that's really good because you can use it for print so now I've made a new layer and I am clicking uh, on <clears throat> excuse me uh, to create a new fill and now I've got a background by which I can see my new brush and I'm just going to do some little test test things so pick my paint tool and then I'm going to go to the brush panel and I can change things like shape dynamics scattering this is stuff you just have to really play around with and depending on the brush sometimes these tools don't work out that well and other times they work out fabulously and so this one is just sort of like you know it has some limitations because it is damage um, and if the damage looks identical everywhere and you put it in a lot of places on the file then of course it's going to um, you know it's 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 not gonna look that great um, it's gonna look like very repetitive and like you used uh, a clone clone kind of brush now what I've done is I'm doing color dynamics so I need to set the foreground and the background so that it has a range of by which or in which it can work inside of the color dynamics for a different color Okay, and um, and the other thing that you can also do, um, I'm going to make you know different uh, different layers with the brush. I'm changing changing the size of my brush so that I have really different kinds of varied results. But I can also use a brush as an eraser as well, which is something that I'm going to need to do because you know even though I'm trying to make this kind of an interesting pattern, you know it still needs some work because right now it just looks messy. But that's the end of our tutorial now, um, and now you know how to make a brush and utilize it.